Getting pumped! Playback time! Welcome back to another episode of Popwood Playback. I'm David Lyle and I'm your host this week for the five, seven best woodworking videos of the week. First, I wanna share that we have an outlet sale going on at shopwoodworking.com. Second, we're introducing giveaways. Yes, giveaways. We have stuff to give away. It's wearing give it away to you, our YouTube followers. And so I have two products from Craig that I wanna show you over on the MFT table. All right, so the first product I wanna share with you is the inline clamp by Craig. It has up to 250 pounds of clamping force. As you rotate this dial, it plunges in. So it comes in this way. And so it fits into a three quarter inch dog hole, which I have here. And so I'm going to clamp this piece of basswood in. I'm gonna plane. This is one of the more aggressive ways I could think to use it. And it's handling it wonderfully. If you don't have a tail vise and you're working off a table like this, it's a great option. It even is handling traversing. It's got enough clamping force to handle that way. Getting a little spelching action going there. Now, I also wanna share with you the bench clamp. Uh, this is the bench clamp with base. Uh, and so it has a metal base that fits into a, a three quarter inch hole here. Um, and I also have the one without the base. Jake, thanks for that. Uh, this bench clamp is great for doing pocket holes because one of the most tedious operations and you're doing a lot of pocket holes is clamping uh, the pocket hole jig onto each piece in each spot that you need. And this way you got the clamp fixed to the table and with the auto max setting here, it automatically detects the height uh, like the other auto max products that Craig has. And so you can just get on with doing your pocket holes. And just like that, you're ready to go and move to the next one. That takes a lot of the headache. Out of pocket hole. Now it also works all the way down in that self-adjusting way to shorter piece as well. So two great products from Craig. We're gonna be giving these away. Stay tuned for the details. So if you wanna enter that giveaway, check out the information in the description. It'll send you to the page where you can register for that. Now, I have seven videos this week, and the first is from Hand Tool Rescue. This is an antique beam drill that he restored, and I'm a big fan of this channel because he does things that I am not necessarily patient enough to do. So check this out. The second video I have for you is from Keith Decent. He has some of the most interesting and wacky projects on YouTube. So check out this video of this hidden shelf. And he uses a kind of a roll top desk uh, mechanism to reveal a secret compartment behind some library books. It's really cool. The third video we have is from Matt Etzley. It's a bass guitar design that he's working on and he takes you through the whole process and I have just been so impressed with this channel because of the way that it's grown in the last six months. He's up to about 30,000 subs. Congrats Matt and check out this cool video. The next video is from Jay Bates, a little bit of a larger channel that many of you might know in the woodworking community. He puts together a salt and pepper shaker uh, set that is beautiful and he takes you through the whole process. And Jay, I'm loving this format that you're following here. Next video is from Duresta. He was on this old house this past week and in this build, he did slices of a branch and laid them out on a steel table that he built uh, and epoxied it all together. And it was a really cool build uh, and it ended up looking uh, beautiful in the end. Next, we have James Wright, my favorite dad joke teller. He's building a side table right now with no fasteners and no glue with all hand tools. It's a really cool build uh, and in a couple parts here. So you'll have to check out his channel to find the other parts linked below. And finally, we have a video from Lemongrass Picker. He submitted a video last week about a Japanese toolbox that he made. Uh, he uses a lot of traditional techniques and explains uh, how it's built and the purpose and what he ends up keeping in it. So check that out here. All 
All right, thank you all for joining us this week. If you have a video that you made or a video that you're into, please link it in the comments below. And we look forward to seeing you next Saturday. Have a good day.